Okay, again, um, this afternoon, we will be talking about correlation statistics. So we will understand, oh, sorry. We will understand the principles of the different statistical techniques that measures and describe the correlation of variables. And then we will be identifying and we will supply the needed data in the formula according to specific statistical technique. And um, aside from that, aside from the manual computation, syempre, we will also have um, the software. So we will run the JASP software or the JASP program and come up with sound decision and conclusion based from the data. So last time class, um, our previous lesson was about um, t-test. So you have learned that t-test is used to determine if there is a significant difference between two groups. So kana inyo hang tandaan, t-test is applicable if you are looking for the difference between two groups. Like kung nakay, nakay group sa babaeg and group sa lalaki, tanaw na to kung naabay difference in terms sa given na situation or phenomenon. So, na-learn na nato to. We have two types of t-test. The independent t-test if the two groups are not related to each other while the paired t-test is used if we have two groups na related to each other or kapag ka the same ang inyong sets of samples sa grupo. Okay? Sige. Brown out. So for today, we will be talking about correlation statistical techniques. Ang correlation statistical techniques class are used if we want to measure and at the same time describe the relationship between two variables. So we have still two variables here but we are not looking sa ilahang difference. Instead, we are looking for their relationship. Gusto na to i-measure kung naabay relationship ang ato ang duha ka grupo or duha ka variable. And if naa sila relationship, we'll, we will be describing what type of relationship is that. For example, um, we have academic performance. So, naabay relationship ang sex when it comes to academic performance. What I mean is, uh, kung ingon kag naabay relationship ang sex, mas taas ba ang relationship, pag, ay, mas taas ba ang imuhang academic performance kung babae ka or mas taas ang academic performance sa mga lalaki? So, ano to siya? Um, uh, relationship to. Or naabay relationship ang um, economic status pag abot sa academic performance sa mga estudyante. So kung mas taas ba ang ilahang family income, mas taas po ba ang grado sa mga estudyante? So muna siya ang ginamin sa uh, relationship. At different na siya compared sa katong nangita taong difference between the two groups. So we we have here mauni siya ang mga statistical techniques na kailangan nato i-learn so daghan og types of correlation coefficients. So ang um, types sa statistical technique na atong gamiton is based on what type of data do we have. So when I say type of data mauna siya ang katong unsang unsang level of measurement ba siya nominal, ordinal, um we have the interval or the ratio. So please do not do not ever forget what are those four levels of measurement kasi that will dictate what type of statistical tool are we going to use to analyze our collected data. So balik-balik ito ninyo class, mo to siya nga sa chapter 1 pa lang, mauna to siya ako ang gitudlo. Kasi without that, um, dili na to ma-learn kung paano na to gamiton atong mga statistical tools. So the first one we have here, the Pearson product moment. Pearson product moment. We use this one if we have um, two scales interval or naatay duha ka ratio kay di ba we are looking for for the relationship between two variables so dapat a 
ang both variables are in interval or ratio scales before ta makagamit sa Pearson product moment. Okay? So, ang ato ang ginakuaan o relationship, dapat ang first group naka-interval. Tapos ang second group ko, or ang second variable, naka-interval gihapon siya. Okay? So, pag dili interval class, ang mga data na ato ang nakulek, we cannot use the Pearson product moment. And then we have the Spearman rank order. Ginagamit ni siya to get the relationship of two variables pero they are both in the ordinal scale. So, uh, kung maalala ninyo ang ordinal, katuto siyang na ay ranking or na siya designated na numerical value for a certain verbal interpretation. So, muna siya mostly ang ginagamit pag magkantak og survey, nagagamit og Likert scale na kanang na ay nabitaw yung ranking like pag nag-score ka og 1, you strongly disagree. Pag nag-score ka og 5, you strongly agree. So, ana siya ang example sa ordinal. So, pag ingana ang imuhang data class, you will be using the Spearman rank order. So, that's the second statistical tool. And then, um, we have the phi or uh, actually don't know how to pronounce that one, the phi or the phi. But we use this one if both scales are naturally dichotomous. Pag sinabing dichotomous is kanang gi-categorize sila into two. So, ang group one nakakategorize siya into two, like ang group one kay sex. So, ang sex is just male and female. And remember that um, when you say sex, walay numerical value for that. It's just that you have to classify them into male and female. Tapos, ang second group po na imuhang pangitaan o relationship, kaya nakakategorize gihapon into two. Okay? So, dichotomous siya and Category lang siya, meaning uh, in this type of statistical tool, we use this if our data is in nominal scale. So, si nominal, di ba, amount na siya ang atong categorical level of data. We don't have numerical data here. Instead, we just classify our samples. Pero uh, sa FI, is, it's dap it, dapat ano siya, dichotomous, tagduha-duha lang na classification. And then the last one, we have the point by serial, wherein the one uh, the first scale or the first group is on the, is nakanominal siya, especially nakadichotomous siya, nakaklassify lang siya into two. Tapos the other variable is either in ratio or interval scale. Pero isa-isa hong gihapon nato ni siya o um, discuss para mas masabdan kung paano sila gamiton sa statistics. But before that, let's describe first the characteristics of a relationship. So we are looking here has for the relationship of two variables. Kung naaba sila relationship with each other or wala. So the, the sign of the uh, First, the first pala. The first characteristics of a relationship is the direction of the relationship. Pag mag-compute ta sa t-test mang good, di ba, we always disregard the sign. Kung maka, makakuha tag t-score, um, bisan pa o negative ang ato ang makuha na t-score, pag ato na siyang i-compare with the tabular t-score, we disregard the sign. In here, pag mag-compute sa ato ang R, kasi we are looking for the relationship, na anay meaning ang positive or negative na score. So that's the sign of the correlation that is either positive or negative would describe the relationship direction. So syempre, pag nakakuha ka o value na positive, then diri siya na asay positive relationship so when you say positive relationship class um, this results when one val value increases and then the, the other value increases also meaning na ay direct relationship pag na ay direct relationship ang tawag nato na positive relationship and then pag magcompute sa statistics positive pud ang numerical value na ato ang compute so positive relationship when the two values move in the same 
direction. So, kung muta- mutaas ang score sa isa, mutaas pud ang score sa pikas na group. Mauna siya ang dinamin sa positive relationship. And then, the, ne- the negative relationship is the other way around. It tends to go in the opposite direction or this is best described as an inverse relationship. When you say inverse relationship, the other one, the other group, when the score of the other group goes up, then the other group score will go down. Okay? So as the X variable increase or increases, the Y variable decreases. That's the negative correlation. Okay? Question so far? None po. Okay. So, nagkasinabot ta ani nga side. Wait lang ha. Let me, I'll be back. Let me just get my pen kasi I need to remember right sa screen kaya atong mga computation ani. Kajot lang. Sige, let us continue. So, let's talk about the correlation coefficient R. So, sa, sa t-test, nag-compute taong t-score, sa correlation class, we are computing for the R. That's the relationship. So, pag mag-compute taong R, that the R represents or measures the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two variables. Okay? Again, ang R uh, measures the strength of the relationship. Kung gaano ka strong ang relationship sa duha ka variables. And then, sa all strong. Tapos, pagkahuman, ginamessure po niya ang direction. Kasi kung positive, positive ang makuha ni mga result, then positive po ang relationship. Pag ang isa mo taas, mo taas po ang isa ka group. Pero kung negative ang imuhang nakuha nga value, then it's an inverse relationship. So pag maingon ka, inverse relationship, when the other one goes up, the other one goes down. So the value of the R is always between positive 1 and negative 1. Ano lang yun ang value sa R class? between positive 1 and negative 1. Therefore, if ang imuhang makompute na value sa R is wala na kasulod din ang range, there is something wrong sa imuhang computation. So pag, for, for, pag, pag magcompute ka, for example, mag ano siya, ang imuhang nakuha nga answer kay positive 2, ulitun yun na nimo imuhang computation kasi there is something wrong with that. So, money siya ang interpretations karon um, sa correlation R. So, pag ang imuhang nakuha, pag compute ni mo is exactly negative 1, ang meaning ana, it's a perfect negative linear relationship. Perfect ang relationship na to class. Perfect na linear. Pero negative. So, ang isa ka-variable mo sa ka, ang isa, pababa. Okay? 
kay inverse man pag mayon ka og negative relationship so tanan pag negative class um, negative negative ang sign negative pud ang relationship the number will just give you the strength of the relationship so between negative 0.70 to 0.99 negative 0.99 it's a strong it's a strong but negative relationship pero pag compute ninyo plus ang inyong nakuha nga r is equal to 0 it means we have here no linear relationship pag mag positive na siya so ano na na siya positive po siya na linear relationship wherein pag ang imuhang ma-compute na value is positive 1 then it's called a perfect positive linear relationship okay sorry kay busy kayo ako ang by the way pag pag mag-contact mo sa ako uh, Sa messenger lang ha. Tapos pag dili ganin ako na siya ma-open, it means tambak pa og message ako ang messenger. Kaya mo rag-busy ka ayaw karong mga panahon na. Tapos, um, kung urgent yun ka ayo ang inyong message, butangi sa first og word nga urgent para makabalo ko nga unahon na ko ito siya og open compared sa uban nga nakatambak pa na mga message. Kung nag-message mo sa ako as sa Schoology, kung wala ka nang diligod magpasa o something, kung sa Schoology mo nag-message sa ako, ah, malis dan po ko o um, tanaw anak kay nakatambak po ang message sa ako ang Schoology with all the ano, submissions. Labi na ka nang mag-quiz tapos mag-closean bito sa quiz kaya syempre na aman tight time, di ba? So, pag maklosa, dito naman sa messages is send, marag tambak yun ka ayo siya. So, pag na pag naalam mo'y kailangan sa ako ang urgent, butangin niyo yun yung message yung urgent para unahon ako to siya. Murang artista na naghan ka ayo og messages sa chat box. So, mawag na siya ang um, effect sa pandemic. Sa amo, mga teachers, naghan ka ayo og sulod ang chat box. Okay? So let's continue. Let's have the first statistical tool na ginagamit to determine the relationship between two variables. So we have here the Pearson product moment of coefficient of correlation R. Or simply we call it Pearson R. Pearson R. Pwede na siya i-shortcut na Pearson R. So this is used as an index of relationships between two variables. And then as what I've mentioned a while ago, the, the R here, the value could range from positive 1 to negative 1, wherein if you get the fix na positive 1 and the negative 1, perfect correlation ang meaning ana. If ang imuhang na compute na value is 0, then wala tay relationship between the two variables. If it's more than 1, then there must be something wrong sa inyong computation. Now take note, the Pearson R or the Pearson product moment correlation class is a parametric test. So balikan na to, to Ang atong mga statistical test, duha lang sila ka classification. Pwede sila parametric or pwede non-parametric. So since si Pearson R belongs to the parametric test, na siya'y kailangan ma-meet na mga parametric assumptions. So actually, it's the same thing with the t-test. Before na makagamit ang t-test, di ba kailangan normally distributed ang atong data? And then there is linearity here. Maulang niya ang nadugang linearity. I'll teach you how to look at the linearity later. And then, um, the independent and the dependent variables should be both in ratio or interval scale. Okay? So, duha ka grupo man eh. So, ang duha ka grupo, dapat either ratio or interval scale sila. Now, mo ni siya karon ang ato ang formula for the Pearson correlation. Wala man tamo ginapamemorize o formula. Kung nag-face-to-face -face pata ka ron, nag-apacompute di hapon ko ani, pero wala ko nag-apamemorize o formula. Kaya kasi mabuang tao memorize sa kataghan sa formula sa statistics and dili rabalalim ang iyahang formula. So for the computation of VR, 
sa ato ang Pearson Product Moment Correlation. Kung siya, kung siya ha, ang atong gamitan. Yeah, you can write it sa index card para from time to time pwede ninyo siya matanaw. Sa quiz or sa exam, I have no problem with that. Even sa face-to-face, kung na face-to-face na sa exam, kana Pwede mo magdala o index card. So again, si Miming Arne, the small letter N here is, ano ba kayo gutang? Ayan, nabi kayo gutang. Ayan, the small letter N refers to the sample size. Ayan, this one. And then this one also. And then this one. So katulo na to siya ganiton. And then, um, ang kanang X class, that's the first group. Tapos, ang um, kanang Y, that's the second group, ha? Tapos, remember, magsulat ko. Ayan. Dahil lang, ha, kayo naglambod-lambod akong mga wire dere. <laughs> sa ako ang table. Napay wire sa mouse, napay wire sa... Sa gunsa na lang ang wire dere, dere lang. So, remember class, pag makita ninyo na siya nga sign, it refers to the summation. So, kani sample size mani. Kani summation of x times y. Meaning, i-multiply ninyo ang x o ang y tapos kwa unin nyo ang summation. Kani, uh, minus the summation of x. So, i-add ninyo tanan scores sa x or sa first group. Tapos, I-multiply ninyo siya sa summation sa tanang scores sa y. Okay? Kani ka, i-multiply sa ninyo before i-add ha x times y tapos i-add tanan. Kani, this is purely for the x. So, tanang scores sa first group ninyo hang i Ayan. And then, um, dito sa baba, Divided by the square root of, we have here, um, n, this is the sample size again, times the summation of x tapos e square minus the summation of x squared na sad. Okay? And then, uh, that's the same thing. Kung giyon sa ninyo ang sa first group, yung anak po nang himuon sa second group. So, para mas masabtan mo na ang meaning ani. Pagkakita ganin mo summation of x, y, this is the sum of the product of x and y, meaning i-multiply ni mo ang x o ang y, ang first group o ang second group. Tapos kapag uh, ingani sa uh, x, asa ni siya banda? This one, mo ni siya. So, this one is the product of the sum of x, So, i-add sa nimutan ng score sa x, tapos i-add po nimutan ng score sa y, and then i-multiply. And then, this one is the sum of squares of x, and then this is the sum of squares of y. So, tagaan ta mo example, kung naglibog ka ay kung sa medyo himuunan na. Limited. Change na itong tarong ha. Okay. So, sample problem. Ang researcher, Anne, wants to know if there is a relationship between the daily allowance of the students and their GPA. Or ang ilahang, ang sabihin sa GPA, gani, graded performance. Ay, kung ano sa meaning sa GPA. Wait. Dito, mahimutang kung dito ka baluan. The meaning sa GPA class. Who knows here about the meaning sa GPA? Ay, grade point average. Day. Okay, very good. Kim. It's grade point average. So, gusto mabalan sa researcher kung naabay difference ang allowance sa estudyante o sa iyahang GPA. For example, kani, ang first student, ang iyahang allowance, 50 kada adlaw. Tapos ang iyahang GPA, 65. Sa GPA, i-addin mo hang tanang grades and then divide sa number of subjects. Okay? So, 
Pila ka students ni? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sampo ka estudyante. Let's see if naabasay relationship. Sulat na ito at formula sa screen. Ako ganahan kay gamay ka ayo akong screen. Okay, R again is equal to N times the summation of X times Y minus the summation of X times the summation of Y divided by the square root of the N times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x tapos squared sa gawas. Tapos, mundo niya akong problem sa statistics. Wag nga mano-mano computation kay taas kayo. Paano na lang po 100 ka po kimuhang data. And times this time it's for the y squared minus the summation of y and then squared sa taas. So una ko na to um, tanaw un sa atong n. N here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So our n here is 10. The same person man yung, first person yung allowance kay 50, yahang GPA kay 65. Okay? Tapos, compute the sum of x that is the summation of the x. Pagutang natin dali sa baba. Summation sa x. Kasi meaning sa summation sa x, i-add na to sila tanan class. So, 50 plus 70 plus 100 plus 120 150 175 Tell me kung pas pas kay ko ha 200 250 plus 300 plus 400 So, ang summation sa X is 1,815 Kailangan na na siya sa summation din ni. And then, we have summation of y. Ingan na po na itong gagimuon sa y. Add po na ito tanan. 65 plus 70 plus 80 plus 82 plus 85 87 90 ay wait 90 92 95 and 97 so, ang summation sa y is 843. Tapos, ang sapatong kailangan based sa ato ang um, problem. Sa ato ang problem, kailangan na ito ang x squared. So, pag mayingon kag x squared, diri lang ako sa tapad niya ibutang ha. I-square ni mo, tanan. Like, for example, 50. What is the square of 50? It's 2,000. 500. So that's the same with the 70. It's 4,900. So 100 is siyempre 10,000. And then 120 squared is 14,400. Patience is a virtue. 150 squared is 22,500. 175 squared 30,625, 200 squared, 40,000, 250 squared is 62,500, 300 squared, 90,000, and the last one, 400 squared is 160. So, muna siya ito ang x squared. Tapos, ingon man siya summation sa x squared. So, i-add po na ito, tanan class. Ibutangan na ito siya. 
para di siya maghalo. Diri ang summation of x squared. So, palihog kong add tanan. <laughs> Please ko add tanan sa nasa screen and then pa send sa chat. Pila. 400. 437,000. 437,425. Okay. So, ano po ito ang himuon class sa second group? Square put na to tanang score. So, 65 squared is 40. <laughs> Sige sila ka-disconnect ito. Asan sila? Okay. 40, ay sorry, 4,225. This is for the y squared here. 4,225. And then, 70 squared is 4,980 squared is 6,482 squared 6,724 85 squared 7,225 87 squared 7,569, 90 squared, 8,100, 92 squared, 8,464, 95 squared, 9,025, and lastly, 97 squared, 9,409. So, please, please add also everything, class. Ayan. Ano kung add na na? Kulang akong space. Ulang pa ni class at nagnanademigisend ng bilang tao sa twenty two thousand forty one. Seventy two thousand forty one. The summation of dy squared. Just kulang pa ta class. Remember sa tung formula kailangan nato ang summation of x times y. Meaning, wala na po yung space. Diri na lang siya. Summation ay x times y na lang diri. Sa ginamindan eh, i-multiply ni mo each. Like 50 times 65 is 3,250. Nakuha na sundan to. X times y man eh. So, 50 times 65 is 3,250. So, 70 times 70 is 4,900. 100 times 80, syempre 8,000. 
And then, uh, 120 times 82, um, 9,840. And then 150 times 85 is 12,750. For the student F, 175 times 87 is 15,225. Next, sa student G, 200 times 90 is 18,000. For the student H, 250 times 92 is 23,000. Student I, um, 300 times 95 is 28,500. And 400 times 97 is 38,800. Kindly get the summation of this also. So, ang atong ano, ano, symbol, summation tapos x, y. Meaning, gimultiply na to ang x um ang y. Mapaspasa nila. <laughs> Sige. So, ulahi lagi ganser si Rosalie. I-check na o Rosalie, murag na yan. No? Murag na kayo na double siguro or on sa banay na dagdag. Check ulit. Kasi the summation for this is 16,000 Ay, sorry, dili 16,000. 162,265. Anay, nakulang. Sige, 162,265. Okay? Sige. So, ready na. Ready na atong mga kailangan ng mga values. Pwede na nato na siya i-substitute class sa atong formula. So please bear with me na kayo medyo taas. So R equals our N, remember, is 10 times the summation of X times Y. Meaning mauni siya. Kani? Kani nga itong last nga gisolve. It's 162,265. Minus the, summa uh, the summation of x, kila to itong summation of x, this one, this one, is 1,815 times the summation of y. What's our summation of y? It's 843. Tapos, divided by the square root of First one, we have the n, that's 10, times the summation of the x squared. Asa na to itong x squared? 437. So, 437,425 minus the summation of x balik. It's 1,815 sa gawas man ang squared plus. Na yung gimin. Kailangan sa nato na siya square. Okay, tapos, ayan, wala hmm, kong space, times. So, sa y na sad ta, 10 gihapon ang atong sample size. I-multiply na to siya sa summation of y squared. It's 72,041. Tapos, kadot lang kay, nabot ako dere. Uh, minus the summation of y, it's 843, tapos sa gawas ang squared class. Tanggalun ko na lang ni n equals 10. Okay? So I think, I think tinha nag-end, no? So pwede na nato siya step by step. Oh, so I hope makasyagin siya diri sa ako ang screen. So the first thing is 10 times, ano sa ta? 10 times... 162,265 is 1,622,650 minus 1,815 times 843 is 1,530,045. Okay. divided by the square root of 
Pwede na to. Femdas man. So, pwede na to. Unahon. Ay, kailangan dyan na to. Unahon ang multiplication. So, 10 times 437,400. Tell me kung namali na ko ha. Kaya basig nalibat ko. Okay. That's 4 million 4,374,250 minus 1,815 squared. Ang ko kayo ang mga number And then multiply na to sa... 10,000 times 72,041 is 720,410 minus 843 squared is 710,649. Okay, next. <laughs> Next class, tell me kung nalibog na ha. So, daghan sa number dag ko, pwede kayo. This, are, this is just 10 nga sample size. And so, nalang kung daghan kayo yung muhang itagaan ng survey. So, 1,622,650 minus 1,530,045. Is 92,000. It's 92,605 divided by the square root of 4,374,250 minus 3,294,225. So it's 1,080,000. 25 minus ay delete siya minus multiply man multiply delete delete so this is multiplication here class ayan 720,410 minus 710,649 is 9,761 so next 92,605 divided by the square root of 1,080,025 minus 9,700 times, times 9,761 is daku na siya kaayo. Ako na lang siyang scientific notation ha. 1.054 212403 times 10 raised to the power of 10. So let's get the square root of that. So 92,605 divided by the square root of the 1.05 uh, 4212403 times 10 to the power of, neg of 10. 10 so this is class 102,674.8461. Therefore, our R, tama lang din ang space sa kung screen, 92,605 divided by 102,674.8461 is... <laughs> kasi tag-result tapos ang iyahang ang iyahang result lang kay positive remember positive 0 0.90 ayan ginhawa sabi if you want to copy you can copy <laughs> sige okay lang no problem sa internet okay Sige, pwede ninyo siya kopyahon before ta mag-interpret sa tuang result. Tell me if okay na. Go na. I-absorb ninyo kung sa atong bihimo. Okay? 
Yeah, I'll wait. I'll give you time. Ah, sige, later, Alicea. Ay, nakaun ba? Oh, nakaun ba? Sige, let's have a recap kung unsa atong gibuhat. Um, our formula class is this one. No need to memorize the formula. You can write it in an index card so that you may have a copy during the quiz and the exam. So atong gibuhat class, we need to know how many samples do we have. That's the letter N. So that's from A to J, that's 10. And then... Um, we have here x and y, meaning the x will be the first group or the variable, um, and then variable x or the tradition dependent variable, and then the GPA is the y or the y variable. Now, kailangan nato kwaon ang summation of x. So when you say summation of x, you just have to add all scores sa first group. So in this case, the summation of x is this one. Sorry. It's 1,815. And then we also need to get the summation of x squared. When you say summation of x squared, you have to square all scores, each scores sa x Pag na-square na na ni mo tanan, i-add po ni mo. So, mahimo na siya summation of x squared. Uh, kung unsa yung gibuhat sa x, ana po di mo hang buhat dun sa second group of scores or sa imuhang y. You need to get the summation of y by adding everything. And then, i-square po ni mo sila each. Pag na-square na sila each, then you get the summation of their square. So, i-add lang po na ni mo tanan. That's 72,041. And then lastly, to complete, para makaproceed ka with the computation, you need to get the summation of x times y, which means kailangan ni mo i-multiply each. Partner good na sila per mi class ha kay kanin 50, nga allowance para man na siya kay student A. Ang kaning GPA na 65 para gihapon na siya kay student A. So, i-multiply lang. 50 times 65, that's 3,250. 70 times 70, that's 4,900. And so on. Pag makuha na ni mo ang, ang product sa X and Y, then i-add gihapon na to, to get the summation of x, y. Pag na-complete na ni mo class, you can do the solving now. So, tanawa lang ni mo, asa ni mo sila i-substitute kaning mga gikuha na ito nga summation, asa na to sila i-substitute sa ato ang formula. Okay? So, do not forget hang square root lang sa baba. And ang na-compute na ito nga R is positive 0 0.90. Now, how do we interpret the R na Positive 0 0.90. Can I delete the writings on the screen now? Pwede na. Okay. Ibalhin ako ang slide. I hope nakopya na ito ninyo. If wala pa, then na may recording, I'll be sending you the recording after. So, balik na dito sa ito ang interpretations of correlation. Our R is positive. So, diri banda, 0 0.90. So, asa siya na belong? This one. Ay, Daniagi. Ayan. Diri siya na belong. 
Kasi 0.90 man siya. Positive 0.90. And it's a interpretation sa positive 0.90. Na daw strong positive. Strong positive linear relationship. Which means na balik na sa atong problem. Na the daily allowance class has a positive linear relationship with the grade point average of the student. Strong ang relationship. Meaning, um, ang grades di ay sa estudyante, pwede na to siya um, ma-associate dito sa ilahang allowance. And positive ang relationship. Meaning, ana, habang nagataas ang allowance sa estudyante class, nagataas po daw ang iyahang grades. Grade point average. This is based sa nakuha nga result ha. Wala ko nag-ingon nga <laughs> this is the reality. But this is based sa nakuha nga result. So that's how you interpret the R. <laughs> <laughs> o oh, di ay wala nagataas yung grades kaya wala wala nagataas yung allowance pero actually this, this is not true sa ako ha. wala dyan na siya nagamatter para sa ako ha kung, kung sa ako lang yun walay walay relationship ang allowance sa grade sa student <laughs> para sa ako pero according sa ilahang dibuhat niya ano nga study since this is just a result of the study um then naaday positive relationship ang daily allowance sa GPA what do you think personally sa inyo wala man siguro no wala man siguro siya ay epekto pila man day balon ninyo syempre karong pandemic mura gwa man tay balon ani kay nara man tas balay Naday. Ah, so So tama day ang tama day ang ano ang study ang result sa ilang study nga na ay positive linear relationship kay para diyan kayo bumabangon sa baon. <laughs> Sana all in ako balon. When I was in high school class ako balon kay ay tong tong elementary ko ako balon kay singko. Tas tong tong high school ko ako balon papel na lang. Eh, may maestra man akong mama. So, dito man ako nag-eskwela kung asa nag maestra akong mama. So, ngayon ginahatag sa ako, papel nga na ay, firma. Eh, mo to akong ginabayad sa kantin kay i-charge, i-charge sa iya. So, papel akong balon tong high school. Tong college ko, akong balon is 1,500 per month. So, appeal na to siya, tanan. <laughs> Alam mo na nga, wala ko nang gato nga, ano nga, ang daily allowance nag, na siya yung relationship sa grade. Pero wala ko kabala sa inyo. Noon sa naman ni si Kimberly nga nag-growing naman ni si Adiris atong screen. <laughs> okay? Questions, class? Sa results, sa ito ang gibuhat. Nga, ano nga, task kayo nga computation, tapos mo lang kayo meaning nga ito. Okay, tatagan tatagan tatamog more examples. Kaya wait wait lang yun. I still have time. <laughs> Wala ni kakapelong ang makita. <laughs> so mukay pag mag pag mag draw mo sa screen, makita na siya sa everyone. <laughs> so natingala ako kagay ng anong na green. Kaya wala ko nagagamit o green na color sa pen unless na lang kong needed siya. Nira yung green. Ito kong di-erase. Ikaw din. <laughs> yeah, makita man kung kinsaan nagasulat yun. Ah, may pangalan sa pen. <laughs> so, ito siyang i-reason. Questions before ta mag-move on. Ayan ta mag-example on yung manual computation ha. Um, ato asang i-introduce ang ato ang software. Paano siya himuon sa software? Wait lang. Let me open the Excel. And I'm not really familiar with the Excel. Ha? Let me... Let me start with the Just software first. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Excel is for dress funding. Ano man eh. Ulit lang ha. Naghang ako laptop. Naghang ako laptop. Sige, I'll just copy the ano ha. Kopya ako sa nakuha ang atong scores. Wala na siya nang may hoplas. Wait. Okay. Sige. Okay, this is how you place it sa Excel. Di ko piyala na ako nang nasa kung PowerPoint. Wait lang. Siyong padakon. And then the other one, let us copy also. The GPA. Ayan, balik na dito. Ayan. So I hope makita ninyo ang ed sa Excel ha. And then, mag-save as na po ko. Remember, ang atong software na ginagamit can only recognize the one that is in CSV format. I'll write here some R. So, let's have the CSV format here para ma-recognize siya sa ato ang JASP. And then, let's go sa atong JASP na software. Wait lang. No. Yeah, we have here the JASP software. I hope you can see it. Tell me if hindi nyo makita ha. And then, what are we going to do? Open. Um, so, pag-ibutang sa pharmaceutical statistics na folder. And then, akong ipangalan ato kay Pearson R. So, i-import lang na niya. It's the same thing with that of the t-test, but we are going to do correlation R. So, the correlation R is yeah, here's our regression. So take note, those who are using the JASP software, makita ninyo ang correlation diri sa regression na button sa taas. So pag-click ninyo na siya, you can see correlation. You open that, and then remember that we are doing, doing Pearson's R. So tama ni siya nga nakacheck ang Pearson's R. Later tata mag-istory of Spearman's Raw. So correlation atong ginapangita. Um... Tapos, you can transfer now the two. Silang duha, i-transfer diri ha. Again, silang duha, i-transfer diri sa variables. Tapos, um, since malibog man mo kung ingan niya siya, nga ipakita yun niya ang duha, pwede ninyo i-click ng display pair, pairwise para automatic nga ingan niya na lang. I-summarize na niya ang result between daily allowance and ang GPA. Okay? And then, ihatag na na niya class ang Pearson's R. So, parehas ta og computation with the manual and the just. Di ba? Kagayin na sa manual computation ang atong nakuha ang Pearson's R is 0.902 which means that there is a relationship and the relationship is a strong one. And at the same time, it's a positive relationship. So, positive ni siya. So, kung gusto na to makita kung linear yun ba ang iyahang relationship, you can click the scatter plots here. Kaya hatagan ka niya o graph sa imuhang daily allowance versus the 
GPA. And as you can see, pag flop nila sa mga scores, yes, tinuod yun nga na ay linear relationship and it's going up. Kasi as the, as the daily allowance increases, the GPA also increases. Okay? Maunya na to sa interpretation. And then if we want to do um, assumption assumption checks, we can also uh, do that. Wait lang, let me check it. Ha. Wait lang. If uh, I'll be going to use the Sige, asa na to? Uh, you can also do this one and maghatag po na siya o p-value. Now, um, let us interpret it. I-interpret na to ang ato ang result. Um, sa Pearson's R, na-interpret na nato siya gaina on same meaning anang 0.90. Pero sa just software, pwede po na ito gamitin ang p-value. Tapos ang p-value class, parehas lang na siya dito sa ato ang p-test. Pero, ani, if the p-value is lesser than 0.05, um, reject the null hypothesis. Huwag man ta nagbuhat og null kagayin na, no? So, pwede ta magbuhat og null class. Di ba, atong problem ato, uh, we want to know if there is a relationship between daily allowance the GPA of the students. So, pag magbuhat ka o null hypothesis class, that's HO, pag state ni mo na siya, this, that is ang negative form, himula na ni mo siya, there is no significant difference between I not the difference, relationship shot, sorry, 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 let me delete it. There is no significant relationship Kasi pag correlation, relationship man itong ginapangita. So there is no significant relationship between the daily allowance and the GPA of the students. Unya, kay ang atong p-value is less than 0.001. That's lesser than 0.05. Therefore, we are rejecting this hypothesis. So, i-reject na to ni siya class. So, i-reject ni siya. Meaning nga na, dili siya, di siya tinood na walay relationship. Meaning, na-adjud relationship. Tama man po. Iba pag-interpret na to kagaina sa Pearson's R, na-asya'y direct relationship. And it's a strong one. And it's a positive relationship. So, i-reject na to ni. So, sa conclusion, you have to reject the Null hypothesis, there is a significant relationship between the daily allowance and the GPA of the students. So the relationship is a strong, positive, linear relationship. Okay? So na lang tayo nakita nga problem with our normality check kasi actually our data is not normally distributed. So as you can see, when we do the assumption check, it's 0 0.036. How do we interpret assumption checks? Remember, if the p-value... This is for the assumption check. Ha? If the p-value for the assumption check is greater than 
zero point zero five, then the data are normally distributed. Okay, na lang tayo nakita nga something wrong with what we did. Kasi it's 0 0.036, it's lesser than 0 0.05. And it means na ang na-collect daw na, to, na data is not normally distributed. And if it's, and if it's, ano, if it's like that class, if that's the case, you cannot actually use Pearson R if your data is not normally distributed. Okay, molo na itong nakita din ha nga problem. So, di na ito magamit. Dapat si Pearson R. Pag dili pwede gamitin si Pearson R, you use the Spearman's Pro. Pero, um, tomorrow na ako na itudlo si Spearman's Pro. Okay, questions, class? Questions about sa paggamit sa software, whether you do uh, manual computation or you utilize our software, dapat parehas lang atong result and parehas lang atong conclusion. Okay? So this is our decision rule, ha? Ayan. If the p-value is lesser than 0 0.05, reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So I still have time. I'm not sure with the... Ano? Balikan tamo sa Excel tomorrow. Pero, dali lang mo rin na takabot ko. Muhatag pa ko another manual computation. I'll have that tomorrow also class. Kaya na nga yung man to another example si Alicea Gaina sa manual computation. Pero mo rin na kaya sa akong time. It's already um, 2.18. Sabak ako mang hood. Pati anin niyo akong background music. Saba kayo. Ayan. Sige, sige. I-review na lang sa ha. Kaya medyo nakulang ko sa time. Pero I'll give you another example of a study here na gamitan dapat siya o Pearson R correlation. So we have here a group of researchers conducted a survey on awareness and practices of residents in Barangay QQQ in XXX City towards COVID-19 using a standardized survey questionnaire. So ang gusto mabalan sa ato ang researcher din he ang awareness sa mga tao at the same time ang ilahang practices towards COVID-19. Kung gaano ba sila ka-aware sa COVID-19 and nagapractice ba sila sa mga, I want say practices kasi it's about the ano, mga standard health protocols ganit na to. Kung nag-mask ba sila, nag-practice ba sila social distancing, kung na siya ang ginamin anak. So the independent variable here for the study is the awareness. So ang ilahang um, most likely kung sa ilahang knowledge ni siya ang awareness sa COVID-19. Now ang awareness ba nila is naabasay relationship sa ilahang practice mo na ang ginamit. So this one is the dependent variable. Kung nakita ninyo ang arrow, so padulong siya dito sa practices. Kagigamit ba nila ng awareness para masunod sila sa mga standard health protocols. So kung magbuhat og research class, mao niya mga pwedeng research question. So syempre, number one, what is the level of awareness of the respondents on COVID-19? Kailangan lang natong descriptive statistics for this. Mean lang niya sa ilahang level of awareness. Tapos number two, what is the level of practice of the respondents on COVID-19? Descriptive gyapon yeah, mean lang po dang atong kailangan ani sa ilahang level of practice. Now, number three, this is where we do inferential statistics, specifically the Pearson product moment correlation. So is there a significant relationship between the level of awareness and practice of respondents on COVID-19? Kumo ni siya ang panguta na karon Kung naabay, relationship. Ang awareness nila, ang ilahang knowledge on COVID-19 sa ilahang pag-practice o safety health protocols. So, isend na ko class sa group, ay sa chat, ang 
ano, result ani nga study. Sige, send na ko na. Para nasad mo eh, copy. Napakoy gamay na time. Kajot lang, Jude, gamay na lang. And then, ayan, mag-software lang ta ni. Kaya mo ragdaghan yun ni ang ano ba? Ragdaghan yun ang data. So, I'll send you both the CSV format and the one that is in Excel na format. Ay, this is not it. Wait lang, mali akong i-open. Sa chat, nakita na ninyo? Nakita ninyo sa chat ang ano? Ang kanang awareness practice. Tanawid daw ako na ba? Awareness practice. Both naka-Excel na format o naka-CSV na format. Tell me kung wala yung na-receive. Wala! Ano, sa, ang sa uban na ah, ang sa uban wala. So, hindi na hitabo. <laughs> Sige, dahil sa mo. Okay. Kung bilhin ninyo siya ma-access, isend ko na lang siya sa school yung GHA. Pero this is how you are going this is how you are going to do the testing. So, mo ni siya ang scores ni Laklas. I hope you can see the screen sa Excel na format. So, bilhin mo na yun. Kung mag -man manual computation kay kung nakita ninyo, sobra 50 ni siya katao ang gi-survey. So, mo ni ang ilahang scores sa ilahang awareness. Mo ni, awareness ni nila sa COVID-19. So, nakaano man siya, naka-like third scale, mag-grade sila o 1 to 5 sa ilahang awareness. So, mo ni ilahang scores. Tapos, sa ilahang practice sad, maupod ni ang ilahang scores. So, nakapartner na ha. This is person number one, person number two. Person number one, mo ni ang awareness. Person number two, mo ni ilahang pag-practice sa safety health protocol sa COVID-19. Now, let's see if there is a relationship between awareness and practice. So, let's open the software. Gamay na lang and then we'll end here. Tapos tomorrow, mag-continue pa. Okay? Ayan. Bugaya ma-open na. So, mag-open ta ulit, class. Ayan. And then, computer. Na ito siya sa kung research capability, building, and awareness and practice. So, i-import pa niya ang scores, both awareness and practice. And then, again, since we are looking for the relationship, dirita mo agi sa regression, pangitaan ninyo ang correlation, click it. And then, ibalhin mo ni siya tanan, silang duha, dere. And then, para ma-summarize ni nga score, click display pairwise para awareness versus practice lang yun siya, automatic. So, sa ato ang nakita nga score, dere, Pearson's R. So, actually, parehas ang nakuha nga score sa ato ang gi-compute kagaina. It's This one, the Pearson R is positive 0.90, meaning na agihapoy relationship. It's a positive relationship, and then it's linear and strong relationship. How do you interpret this? There is a relationship. There is a strong relationship between awareness and practice. So, it's positive, meaning habang nagataas ilang awareness, nagataas po ang ilang pag-practice sa mga safe, safety health 
protocols. So kung p-value po din yung hang tanawon, this is also less than 0.05 so you have to reject the null hypothesis. Ang ang null hypothesis ani man good class kay always in the negative form na there is no significant relationship between awareness and practice. So kailangan na to, to siya i-reject kay naamang yun sila yung relationship. Strong pag yun ang relationship and positive sa awareness o sa practice. So kung tinawa na to ang scatter plots for our data, it's still linear. So linear gihapon ang iyahang relationship nga habang nagataas ang score sa awareness, nagataas po ang ilahang score sa practice. And also, if we want to do assumption check, like, like this one, so, oh, let me check with the interpretation sa assumption check, ha? kasi the p-value is less than 0.01 it check sa nako if it has something to do with the 0 0.05 na interpretation so it check sa nako niha kay nganong dili man normally distributed ang data nadaghan man to ato ang data but anyway dili sa nato dili sa ayo sa niha kay i check nako na siya ngano na siya naga 0.001 or mali lang ang interpretation. There is a interpretation sa ane eh, na 0.90 is direct strong di strong linear relationship. So, um, habang nagataas ang awareness, nagataas sad ang practice. Questions class about this? Let us continue tomorrow. Napagawa'y klase after sa kuwa. Nagdali ko actually kay Basig. Malilit mo sa inyo ang klase sa sa sunod sa kuwa if na amoy klase wala wala yung pangutana i-check sana ako ng assumption checks ha kung how do I how do I interpret this ano siya yung ana okay there may questions